Hello again. Today I'm going to nip next door and um, mess about with an Arduino while I have my lunch. So this will be an extra video. I don't know what we're going to get done. I'm going to try and get it plugged in and have the computer recognize it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, of course I've got a better idea than I'm letting on. <laughs> I'm trying to drag you all along one tiny piece, one bite size chunk at a time. How do you eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. So today, I think we can get the program that drives the Arduino downloaded, one way or another, set up an account um, with the Arduino people and um, get an LED blinking or something. We'll, we'll do something like that, okay? Um, tomorrow, we'll get on with um, playing trains. Well, I'm quite sure you've never been in this room with me. This is my uh, computer workstation. It's busily doing an update right now. Aren't they always when you want them to do something? This is where I shoot a lot of other videos that you also haven't seen, I'm quite sure. But um, today I'm in here because I'm having a look at the Arduino software stuff. Um, we'll get to that in just a minute. The other half of my office is a little bit of a TV studio. That's just because part of my other work is that. So that's what I'm up to. Um, let's talk about the Arduino. Um, here's a hand, call it a servo. Here's a brain, move. Well, I don't need the voice bit because I know my brain can send a signal to this to make it move. Now with the Arduino, it has its own clever pulse width modulation and how fat the pulses will determine where that servo is. Um, but how do we tell it to do that? Now, the little knob I've used on the um, servo checker has been, or tester, has been one way to do it. But how do we write the code? How do we tell the Arduino, the brain, to make the servo do its thing? Come on, let's have a look. Since we're in the studio, a number of you have asked, what do I do for editing? Well, this is Final Cut Pro, and I've been busily working on a animated chess game there that, uh, for another project but um, you'll recognize this is the last video I had is done um, all on a um, um, iPad everything on an iPad with with something called Luma Fusion and it's a program that isn't as powerful as Final Cut but it is almost indistinguishable for basics between the two. Um, if I had to choose one, I'd go there with LumaFusion for everyday, all day, churn out video stuff. You can do most of what you need to do on something called LumaFusion. If you're not into video and you're getting into it, that's a great product. The reason I like uh, Final Cut over Adobe, and I know there's a huge argument, is because one thing, I get to pay for my own software. And one of my pet hates is you buy a product and then have to pay every month for it. Final Cut, you don't. LumaFusion, you don't. Final Cut, two or three hundred dollars. It's expensive. Well, it isn't if you're into that. Um, but LumaFusion is about forty or fifty dollars or thirty or forty pounds, and it just works. Um, I love it. There's all kinds of in um, software upgrades that you can buy and do all sorts of things with, but um, I'm not getting paid for this. They, they don't even know I'm telling you this, but I have made hundreds of videos with LumaFusion. Okay, so the program has crashed once or twice. I've made thousands of programs over the years using Final Cut. Some of my professional colleagues think I'm a dinosaur because I still use it. Okay, so it's expensive. It also has crashed a few hundred times. It's uh, as stable as it comes. LumaFusion, as stable as it comes. Um, I also like it because I can travel with it easily on the road. I do not take a laptop with me when I'm flying. I do take an iPad and a phone. LumaFusion works on iPads and phones, but not really on um, MacBooks, although they 
have workarounds to make it work. So with a phone alone, you could make a video using LumaFusion. Enough of that. Let's get an Arduino working, shall we? Now you can realize that it's lunchtime on Friday, June the 27th by looking at my computer. Yes, <laughs> I'm not very far ahead with these videos, am I? The site I've gone to here is www.arduino.cc. What am I doing there? Well, we need the program that knows how to interpret the thinking to the doing. Um, there's a, a apparently a program. We're going to find out together. It's all right. And you have to download it. Now, I'm, of course, a Mac guy, so I'm using a Mac computer. But there's there's another one beside it for those of you who are using um, PC. So you just download that. And I always love it when somebody says, you just, because it always ends up complicated um, and not working. Oh, you just, no, you don't just anything. You have to know which one to press and all that. And we'll have a look, see what it is. Hold on. Reminds me it's lunchtime. We use cookies. I know, but we're going to have to accept. Now, here's one of my problems. Do you see my finger went to the screen? This is not a touch screen. And so when I move between um, desktop and um, iPad, I always end up, so discover, buy now. We're not looking for buying. What we're looking for is products, I expect, is it? Let's have a look. We're not trying to buy something, though. Products, software, that'll be what we're looking for. Um, and we'll have a look down that list and see what it is we need. That Arduino IDE is apparently the one we want. I have friends. Ooh, what happened there? I don't know. I didn't press anything. <laughs> I'm messing. But you, you know how it is with computers. So you're looking for the IDE. doesn't matter what it is. Just click on it. I am genuinely visiting this for the first time. But if we come over here, I can see the Windows bits, the Linux. Now I'm going to tell you something about Linux. There's a little, um, what do you call it? There's a little penguin. I know that from the aircraft. Um, some of the aircraft use Linux. And there's a little penguin that comes up. And his name is Tux. Just trivia. So that's not what we're looking for today. Well, unless you use a Linux system. So I use Mac. Now, Mac OS, I don't know which one it is. It's one of the two. Um, don't know. Big Sur or Nua. Catalina or Nua. Well, I've used Catalina, so I know I'm at least that old. I'm going to click on the newest one, though. Well, the way to find that out is to go up to the Apple symbol, click on it, and it'll say about this Mac. And that I'm told by a very intelligent friend, don't show them that, that's got your serial number on it. Why that's important, I don't know, but I won't. Other than it says 15.5, so we're well above whatever version it was. But do you see what I mean about it isn't as simple as just click on. So we're gonna click on the newest one. Oh, and now they want some money. Of course they do. Oh, contribute and download. Well, I'm going to just download today, not because I'm a typist, but because I don't know what it is. And if it doesn't work, it's got to be open source if they're asking for um, donations. I will um, fill all this in and get back to you. All done. Uh, now terms and conditions, about 300 pages. I really do not mind um, dropping a few dollars on a program that works well. But I want to know it does work well before I do. So I really do go back and do that. Look at all this. How you? I'd be here till tomorrow reading that. Last revision... 2024. All right, let's um, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Arduino services, user's account, uh, user's duty. I don't know what all this is. We'll figure out in a minute. 
Now I'm told, and I'll read it off my um, phone over here, on a Mac, drag the Arduino IDE icon into the application folder. Yes. <laughs> we'll find it and we'll do it. Well, it looks like we've got to the point where there is an account set up. I know, I know. It's just... <sighs> it, something that should take 10 seconds takes all day. I know. Um, I'll tell you what was holding me up. I was spelling my name wrong. <laughs> Oh dear, I need a cup of tea. Now the instructions I have, where did you get those from? I have a friend. Uh, you need to make friends with people who know how to do this stuff um, or troll the internet. Um, this is a USB connection. There is a hole on an Arduino for one of those. So you can make an assumption that that goes in there. I have a servo here, I don't know if these, I wouldn't think so, but I don't know if these can directly drive one of those or not. Certainly, these draw current. These look current adverse. So I, I don't think I'd want to plug very many of these in, directly into here. I see three pins, and um, because I'm inquisitive i can see which end is the negative on those three i wonder if you can plug one of those directly into there we'll find out and if it gets some uh, blue smoke coming off of there we'll find another one now of course this being a mac it doesn't have um this kind of usb hole in it so i have a breakout box over there for that so i will shove this in that in just a minute that bit there we go well i got a whole bunch of um flashing lights so by plugging that cable in something has happened i'm assuming it's good and now on the mac system there will come a point where you have to drag that icon into there and i've never understood why you have to do that because the computer presumably knows it's an app why doesn't it just put it there now it shows up on my desktop and I can click on it and see what happens. <sighs> now it's very good at asking silly questions. It asks, do you want me to find devices collected to the local network? Of course I do. Why do you think I would plug it in? My first time ever, we are in a program that is going to ask me to do clever things that scientists do in movies. Decisions, decisions. A cup of tea... An Arduino Uno or a macadamia nut cookie. Yes. Let me use the word artificial intelligence once. This doesn't have any. It found the board. And then it's asking me, what is it? Now, you would think that having plugged it in and having run a program to talk to it, that it could ask it what it is. But no. It hasn't burst into flames. It's still busily blinking at me. I'm quite happy. It can do that all day. The computer is quite confident it's found it, but what I've done is I've clicked on File, Example, and we're going to go down here and find it something to do. We are a very long way off having an Arduino control servos, control level crossing gates and barriers. But we're one step closer. Here's what I want you to ask yourself. Amazing computer. Wonderful Arduino. Clever little servo. And all of that needed me to tell the computer what kind of board the Arduino was. So... Clearly, we as human beings are way smarter than all of that nonsense. And it's just a question of how do we communicate with a dumb computer chip? So what I'm going to do over the next few days is figure it out. I've got no real input from outside. A friend sent me a document that said, 
hey, you might want to read this. And I'm sure you can find such things on the internet. But all I've done is connected the board to a computer, installed a little program that somehow talks to it, makes an LED blink. That's what I've got on the back of the guards van. That's what would be there these days. I'm joking. And um, we will figure out how to connect that via another board to this. Well, my tea's nearly gone. My lunchtime's nearly over. And so I'm going to say that is another step. I told you it was going to be baby steps. Just one little thing at a time. That wasn't too bad, now was it? I'm trying not to sit there sounding all geeky. Um, it, it just drives me mental more than anything. I didn't come into playing trains to sit at a computer messing with lines of code. But sadly, that's what we have to do if we want to get things working. It really is at about this point I miss a good game of cricket or something. Yes. Holiday week. Hmm. Here in America, it's around the 4th of July week, or it's just coming up to it. And, um, yeah, I miss England at times like that. It's not that I don't like America. It's just, well, where's a good game of cricket and a visit to the local? Hmm. Well, I've got a little bit more work to do this afternoon, get a few things sorted out, and then it's big clear-up time, and I'll include the train room in that. And so out will come the broom and the duster, and we'll be ready for tomorrow's Let's Play Trains time. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this um, non-technical, technical stuff. See you next time. Bye now.